I noticed the look of surprise on your face when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing. We have to control the border and a more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. The recent immigration discourse has focused on Joe Biden's shift from using illegal to undocumented when referring to immigrants without proper documentation. This linguistic change is more than just a surface adjustment. It reflects a broader narrative with socialist undertones. By opting for undocumented, Biden aims to humanize these individuals and soften the perception of their immigration status, aligning with values of inclusion and compassion. This linguistic debate highlights a deep ideological divide between conservatives and progressives on immigration policy, with conservatives prioritizing law enforcement and border security, while progressives emphasize human rights and social justice. Biden's choice underscores this clash of values, where compassion and inclusion confront stringent enforcement and security measures.